Today is 31st December 2019, a time to bid farewell to 2019 and welcome 2020, a time when everyone will start writing their resolutions. I did mine too and I believe a lot of you have also done that. So let me share a tool with you that I think you should add in your resolutions if it's not already part of it and uh, you can start doing it from day one 2020 and the tool is called journaling so let's make a resolution that starting 1st January 2020 each one of you will start journaling what it means is you will start writing the events of your day that happen. No matter what the outcome was, whether the outcome was favorable to you or favorable to someone else, write it down. When to write, I'll leave it to you. You can choose to write it at the moment when it's happening or sometime later after it happened or at the end of the day when you are home, cleaned up yourself, changed into a more relaxed clothing, get to your office table or study table or your bed, open your diary, write it down but ensure that you write it down on a fresh piece of paper that is very important now when you write it down always add your thoughts to it whatever comes to your mind during the activity when you are documenting it when you are journaling it What happens when you are writing down the events that happen? It's basically transferring all the feelings that you have in yourself, all the feelings that you have in yourself through the pen into the paper. We might have seen this in movies lot of motivational speakers also talk about it there are theories written on it and today I am asking you to start doing it I have seen the power of journaling myself and I advocate journaling a lot to everyone that I meet anybody that I'm coaching I ask them to journal everything you know what when you write it down you yourself will realize that there were so many things that you could have done to avoid the way that event happened in the previous video I recommended summarizing in today's video, I am asking you to write everything that you can. Pour down your feelings, pour down your frustration, pour down your pain, agony, happiness, joy, excitement, everything in that piece of paper. Let's look at these feelings, what happens when you draft, when you write them in a diary or a notepad, what happens? <clears throat> so, if you are happy and you've written the events that happened which made you happy and how you felt about it and how awesome it was.
if a day comes by when you are having a horrible day and you happen to go back and write down your day, journal about it, just flick the pages around and go to the page of the day when you had an amazing, awesome, beautiful day. Read what happened that day. Instantly your mood will change. Instantly it will change. You will have a smile on your face. If you're frustrated, you're angry, write it down. As you write it down, your feelings are just channeled through your arms, through your hand, through your palm, through your fingers, through your pen, to the paper. And while you do that, you start reading it as you write and you will realize there were so many things that you could do to avoid this so that this couldn't have, this wouldn't have happened. So many things. Before you're writing, you might be blaming someone. But after writing, you might be thinking, Oh, I should have done that. It gives you a perspective. It also gives you a chance to pivot from there. And look at what was the opportunity for you to change how that event happened. If you are in pain, document it. Why are you in pain? Pivot out of it. It gives you an opportunity to understand as to why that event caused pain. Why did you give that much authority to someone or something to cause pain for you. I think this is what I would like to share today. And I would encourage everyone, irrespective of the age group, irrespective of who you are, irrespective of what title you hold, if you're not doing it, start journaling. I'll share my own example. There was a time I was doing some project. I was not getting enough help. I was frustrated. And I became insecure. I wrote it down because I have that habit. I wrote it down. The very next week, when I flipped the pages and I read that page again for that day, I was, I, and I realized how stupid I was that day. because I was insecure of a stupid reason. And after a week, when I look at things, how it panned out, I thanked my journal because I had relieved myself from that insecurity, from that feeling of frustration by writing it down. I did not do anything stupid because I had written it down, I had channelized it into my diary rather than me reacting to someone in some weird way. So it's a very powerful tool that I'm sharing with you today. I, I'm sure the reasons that I have given are enough for each one of us to 
convince to start using this tool. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. Bye-bye.